This week, SpaceX is expected to launch CRS-19 on December 4, 2019. The launch is scheduled to take place at 12.51 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. A backup launch opportunity is available on Thursday, December 5th at 12.29 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 17.29 UTC. The launch is a 90% go for the primary launch date, not considering upper winds which are in excess of 120 knots. There's a 80% go for the backup day. Meanwhile, in terms of Starship developments, there are big changes. Work in Coco has now been paused and SpaceX has turned its attention to Mark III development in Boca Chica. SpaceX Starship Update Over the past few days, we've got a lot of insights about SpaceX developments in terms of Starship, but more specifically, we've gotten a close look at what's happening at SpaceX's Coco site. On Saturday, December 1st, Felix from the YouTube channel What About It revealed some new information on SpaceX's progress at its Coco site in Florida. In the video, he states that he had a talk with someone who worked at SpaceX but wanted to remain anonymous. According to the source, 80% of the workforce at the Coco site was laid off. All of the workers were offered jobs at SpaceX's site in Boca Chica or Hawthorne. Some of the workers have moved on and have sought new employment at Blue Origin. According to the statements made in the What About It video as revealed by the anonymous source, SpaceX also seemed to have some problems in terms of the sizing of the rings at the Coco site. The company chose to prioritize speed and chose to eliminate X-ray to inspect wells. So what did SpaceX have to say about all of this? SpaceX's response on December 2nd, in a response to comments made on the closure of its COCA site and in a response to CNBC reporter Michael Sheets, SpaceX had this to say. SpaceX says it has paused but not fully stopped Starship development in Florida while the company focuses on building Starship Mark III in Texas. According to an additional tweet posted by Sheets, SpaceX has not recently laid off employees. The company instead gave those working on Starship in Florida the choice of either continuing work in Texas or supporting other SpaceX activities in Florida. Back to Elon's statement. Shortly after SpaceX's Mark 1 incident on November 20, 2019, Elon stated that SpaceX would move on to Mark 3 design. Absolutely, but move to Mark 3. There has been some confusion as to what the tweet meant in terms of Mark 2 and Mark 4 development, as Elon did not explicitly state anything about Mark 2 or Mark 4. But as we can now see, according to SpaceX's most recent statement, the December 2nd response to Michael Sheets, it now looks like SpaceX is heavily focused on Mark 3. Refining the process, rapid iteration. It now looks like SpaceX is refining its manufacturing process a bit in terms of Starship. Through its rapid rate of prototyping, the company likely learned many valuable lessons quickly. SpaceX can now use those lessons learned and apply them to Mark III design. Roberts Road and Pad 39A In terms of development at Roberts Road and LC-39A, SpaceX is likely to take a more measured approach in constructing structures at these two sites as they are expected to be much more permanent fixtures. While things have significantly slowed down at Coco, Mark III progress in Boca Chica is in full swing. Over the weekend, a bulkhead and two Starship bases were spotted on board Go Discovery at Port Canaveral. On December 3rd, the vessel departed Port Canaveral and it has now been confirmed that it will deliver the parts to the port of Brownsville, where they will then be unloaded and transported to the Boca Chica site. Over the weekend, on November 30th, the upper section of the new Mark III nose cone was also spotted. Parts of a bulkhead have also arrived in Boca Chica and the bulkhead is now awaiting full assembly. The site in Boca Chica is evolving and expanding daily. More cranes have arrived on the site, which may possibly indicate that SpaceX may soon move or disassemble the remaining parts of Mark 1 sections. Other SpaceX Developments CRS-19 as I mentioned previously, launch conditions so far look favorable and 90% go for CRS-19. The launch is scheduled for 12.51 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 17.51 UTC on December 4, 2019 from SLC-40 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. A backup launch opportunity is available on Thursday, December 5th at 12.29 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The mission will use a new Falcon 9 booster and a twice-flown Cargo Dragon capsule. 
SpaceX's drone ship, of course I still love you, is currently positioned in the Atlantic Ocean. As I mentioned in a previous update, there are a number of interesting payloads on board, including a scientific experiment for Budweiser, 40 mice. Some of the mice like the protein myostatin. The protein myostatin inhibits muscle growth and will help researchers study muscle degradation in space. Also on board are a scientific package for NASA's Cole Atom Lab and a robotic tool stowage unit, just to name a few. If all goes according to plan, Dragon is expected to arrive at station on December 7, 2019. Now that Starship development has paused in Florida, SpaceX can focus on Mark III development. The increased focus on Mark III will help to accelerate the overall development timeline. After SpaceX has worked out some of the details on the Mark III design, the company can then return its efforts to the Florida Starship development, where lessons learned from Mark III can be applied to accelerate Mark IV production. In the coming weeks, we could expect to see a lot of changes happening at the site in Boca Chica. And well, for December, we've still got approximately four launches scheduled, one of which is imminent.